back to winter sports we go tonight the lady hornet classic wrapped up for the championship round and this was a great matchup brown county taking on pittsfield and popcorn was necessary for this game nothing but hustle plays watch ashley marker being aggressive getting the ball back and making the play two point two point game now defensive plays need some love to here people so here's one for you marker says not in my house I love to see it. Pittsfield won't be denied a second time, though. They dish it out to Reese Ramsey from downtown. The Sockies now lead by four. Watch Lincoln McCartney, though, saying, give me that ball. Taking it coast to coast and finishing at the rack for the pair and the foul. Brown County's time to respond now. Here's Kenzie Cassing missing her shot, but it's OK. Ashley Marker is going to clean it up with the putback and the foul. This was a very tit for tat game, but in the end, Pittsfield gets it done 50 to 44 and are this year's Lady Hornet Classic champions. Let's bring it back to Quincy now. The Blue Devils held a Hall of Fame ceremony before the game and honored beloved Quincy legend Tom Lepper. And rightfully so, there was a standing ovation. These boys were also playing for 54 tonight too. Mark Lauvin's gonna cash this one in from behind the arc. The Blue Devils were just getting started in this one, though. The man himself, Bradley Longcore the third, breaking ankles and dropping threes with ease. He does it all, though. Just watch this next play. Jarius Rice going to get the rebound here. He connects with BL3 in the paint, and Longcore slams it down. That fan's reaction says it all. That's all of our reactions. you got to love watching him play. When you have a well-rounded, dominant team, you win games, and that's exactly what QHS did. They take this one 69 to 47 and start their season 3 and 0. All right, our last stop tonight. We're going to the pit. Q and D hosting Carrollton. Jen Hurst is going to start things off for us, knocking down the trifecta. Ari Bueller now is going to have an open lane. She's going to post up and drain the jumper. Q and D still building upon their lead. They toss it out to Lauren Hummel, and Hummel nails the tray to give Q and D a nine-point lead. And you know we got to talk about the baller. Sage Stratton getting the rock and splashing home the triple. She led the Lady Raiders with 17 points tonight. This team is firing on all cylinders to start the season. They take down Carrollton 64 to 27. More scores for your Saturday. The QB boys top Gateway 77 to 48 and improved to 2 and 0 on the season. In the Beardstown Turkey Tournament, Brown County takes down West Central in the championship game 55 to 50. And lastly, in the Spartan Tip-Off Classic, McComb beats West Prairie 52 to 24 and takes take second place. Line West takes that first place spot.